thanks for stopping by 33 Kings Studio to hang with your old buddy, Uncle Jay. Now, I've lived in Appalachia all my life, and uh, this is a story that's gotten by me. I have not heard this story. This is a story about a creature called Barilla that people have seen that kind of resembles like a gorilla creature slash werewolf bear type thing. Now, we're going to take a look at some of these stories and uh, see what you think. Uh, have you ever witnessed anything that looks like this? And if you have, if you've got any uh, cryptid stories from anywhere in the United States, we'll send them to Uncle Jay and I'll put them on here. And especially if you've got video. But anyway, let's take a good look here and see what the uh, Barilla really is. Kentucky's backwoods keep quite a few secrets. Secrets that, if you're lucky, will reveal themselves. But some, no matter how patient you are, stay hidden. There couldn't be very many of these. They're very rare. Barilla lurks in these woods, so the experts say. The last known sighting that I'm aware of occurred right here in 1989. The broad-shouldered beast has the body of a bear and a long pointed muzzle like a wolf, hands with dagger-like claws and canine teeth. It's been sighted all through this area of Kentucky, Wisconsin, Michigan, Canada, Pennsylvania. Dozens of reports. First case in the 1940s, it's a young boy who claims to have been attacked on a creek bank by this creature. Reports that sent Ron Coffey into these woods searching. I do not discount that many eyewitnesses. Everybody's not imagining things and making it up. He's not found any bones or remains, but says he can prove Barilla exists with this. The stride was about five feet. It's a plaster cast of a footprint. Coffey says he found the tracks last winter, right here in Bath County and it matches the description of a barilla's foot. Every single legend is based on some kind of fact. Things just, stories just don't materialize. Coffee may have been researching barilla for more than two decades, but there's another person who's had his eyes on these woods for just as long, and he lives right across the street. I think somebody's trying to start a good hoax. <laughs> That's my opinion. John Pugh says he has proof too, that there's no barilla. <laughs> his roosters, and his chickens that roam the yard and have never been attacked by a monster beast. At night time, it's always peaceful and quiet. You don't hear anything going on. And that's enough for Pew to know. No seven-foot wolf-like creature is lurking in the woods across the way. I'll believe it when I see it. But Coffee says it's only a matter of time until another clue surfaces. Another eyewitness comes forward, proving barillas exist. Covering Mystery Monday in Bath County. Courtney Fisher, LEX 18 News. So what do you think? Has this guy actually seen a barilla or a wolf man or a wolf cryptid creature or, or is it an elaborate hoax? Kind of like his neighbor says. Somebody to trying to start some hoopla, maybe. You know, could that be what some of these actually are? Well, you never know. Let's take a look at some more about Barilla here and see what's really going on. It is known, but unidentified. And once it becomes identified, then it comes into the field of zoology. Ron and I started the Gateway Paranormal Society back in 2008. Together, Ron and I researched uh, Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. And I'm sure that the Barilla, Bigfoot, and all that one day will be known, but right now we don't know what they are. The Barilla, however, I um, let Ron handle. It's more aggressive than any of the other cryptids we've encountered. Well, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but something just strikes me kind of quirky about these folks. They were in the video, in the previous video. Anyway, let's take a listen to see what this guy says. Differences. Witness testimonies are remarkably consistent. The Barilla is described as being about two meters tall, with a coat of black and silver fur, able to move on two or four legs. It has a wolf-like face, long, menacing arms, and sharp claws and teeth. If you see one, run.
It was during his childhood on a terrifying summer night spent in the woods that Ron Coffey's quest began. Cousins and I were someplace we weren't supposed to be, of course. We saw what looked like a very large dog walking on all fours toward us. He comes up on two legs so that's that kind of a screech, howl type sound. It was tall, had very long pointed ears, real long, elongated snout, and actually begins to chase us on two legs. Chase us probably about 20 feet, and then it veered off into a little trail back into some brush and disappeared. Chased them about 20 feet, huh? He must be an old werewolf, kind of like old Uncle Jay here. He ain't, he ain't real persistent with the pursuit, is he? <laughs> A bear doesn't move that way. A dog doesn't walk on two legs. So it had to have been something totally different to what we're used to. And of course, we went back and told everybody we saw a werewolf. Of course, everybody said he was crazy, but you know, we were just kind of laughed at. And so, you know, that was the end of that, of that story. We never, never saw it again. When we get together to this day. And that's the reaction for most people if you go tell them that, well, I, I saw a werewolf. You're crazy. Anyway, if you like what Uncle Jay's doing, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And go to war on the notification bell. And we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.